Next, from ITN, the news headlines. It's Sunday morning, and I'm preparing me for a bit breakfast. The main ingredient has to be shredded wheat. Just 100% whole wheat with no added sugar or salt. And then, only because it's Sunday mind, I add just the top of the milk. And I sit in my favourite chair. I don't mind another chair, but I wouldn't want another cereal. Shredded wheat and bite size. There is no better cereal. New MSI sale offers, big discounts, and now this solid pine bedroom complete with double divan is under £300. The MFI and MFI homework sale on now. You may think all antiperspirants are just as effective. They're not. In tests, this heat, ultra dry sure, was proved to make you 20% drier than the nearest competitor. Which probably explains why more people trust Sure than any other antiperspirant. Ultra dry Sure. It'll never let you down. RN believe you shouldn't be rushed into anything. Which is why we offer a 14 day money back guarantee. The future's bright. The future's orange. Helene Curtis salon experts have created the Salon Selective Hair Care range, so you can choose the exact combination to help you make your hair its most beautiful. Now we go over to the studios of ITN for the latest national and international news headlines. A convicted paedophile is still being hunted by police after he escaped during a visit to a theme park packed with children. Trevor Holland, the patient of the Cure Unit, is described as having a history of violence and sexual offences and police warn he shouldn't be approached. An urgent review of policy on patients' outside visits has been ordered after the marriage. This is the second time he's absconded and his second visit to an attraction packed with children this month. A post-mortem has been carried out to discover if the body of a young girl found washed up on the Norfolk beach is that of Jodie Lochlin, who went missing with her brother Tom 12 days ago. The young girl's body is believed to have been wearing a swimsuit similar to the one six-year-old Jodie was wearing. Seven Iraqi men have been charged with hijacking after a Sudanese aircraft was forced to land at Stamford on Tuesday. All passengers on the plane were freed and the hijackers gave themselves up claiming political asylum. The seven will be appearing at Harlow Magistrates later this morning. And finally, Frank Bruno has announced his retirement from boxing after he was told that one more blow to the head could blind him in one eye. Bruno said his immediate plan was simply to chill out and spend some time with his family. That's all from the ITN News team for now. We're back at 5.30 though. Join us then.